Hello and welcome to a TFHB GeoGuessr special. Today we are going on to GeoGuessr to find the stadiums of the world. Now GeoGuessr is a website that we were on a lot during lockdown. Yeah, loved it, loved it, played so much. I was saying I could recognise different types of writing, you know, Chinese versus Korean versus Japanese. Um, I love it, just being dropped in a random place, trying to work out where you are. This is a, a stadium version. When you told me they did stadiums, mm. I was like, let's do it. Exciting. So yeah. this is World Stadiums. Explore football stadiums around the world and answer related questions. Fun times ahead. Mm. Sounds good. Right, should we get going? Let's do it. Okay, in which country does the world's biggest stadium exist that can hold up to 132,000 people? Mm. Do you know what that is? Well, there's one massive one in North Korea, isn't it? That's what I was thinking. And I think it is that one. I think it's the one right in the centre of North Korea. Okay. Uh, scroll to it. North Korea, yeah. In um, Pyongyang, yeah. North Korea, yeah. I think so. Though I mean, there's when there's a massive one in India, a cricket stadium that's hundred something thousand. But I think the biggest officially is, is this one in North Korea. That's the one. In India. It was in <laughs> it was the one in India, right? Okay, there we go. There's Good a start. Cricket one. So it's the Narendra Modi Stadium. It's the world's biggest stadium, although the record tends is only 104,000. Okay. Interesting. Perhaps. Oh, okay. The other one has held more then. Mm. Okay, so here's the questions then. So Cricket Series Ashes is played between which two teams? Easy choice. England, Australia. Let's start next round. See how many points we can get for this tournament. So did you know that Australia has the most number of wins? Yes. Right. Which stadium... Is that looks this very mess? QM it's clubby, really bad loading up though. There you go, right? There so, you go. Barcelona, that's Barcelona, isn't it? So, we can zoom right in, can't we? Yeah, to the new camp, very steep. The camp now, we've talked about it before, actually. I think it's, it's, it's uh, amazing, but it's also dated, yeah. And that's an obviously old picture because the top half's not there at the moment, yeah. so it is. There it is, Spotify Camp New. Ah, oh, the old there Spotify Camp New. Oh, look at that. 103 metres away. But we're, we are in the stadium yeah. on that one. So there we go. Good. 5,000 points. Love you, Jubbly. Fantastic stadium. Move on to the next one. So the record attendance is 120,000, even though this stadium has a capacity of... Hmm, it's 99, isn't it? Yeah, it's 99. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to push it across. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I'll go over, won't it? Yeah. Ooh, this looks American. It does. Let's have a scroll around. Rose Bowl. There we go. Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. This is the stunning one. This is Oh, this is huge. This is another sort of 105,000. Yeah, a university stadium where they play college football. Michigan are my college team. Um, okay. So Michigan, towards the top of it. It's not in uh, the capital of Michigan, though. Let's have a little scan. We can find the exact. Find Michigan for me. We got Michigan. Yeah, keep it on that one. La uh, ooh, is it in Detroit? No, it's Grand not. Rapids. No, it's not. None of them. Scroll. Got to go in a little bit more. It's just outside Detroit, but it's a it's a Flint. town in its own right. Oh, I'm gonna kick myself for it. Go Ann Arbor. I think it's Ann Arbor. All right. Go Ann Arbor. Go Ann Arbor. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow, fair play. That is good knowledge. Oh, that look, that does look amazing. Right, it's known as what? The Big House. Is it the Big House? I've heard that before. It could be. I mean, they're called, they are the Wolverines, but Wolverine Arena is not very fun, is it? And Arbor, Arbor, yeah. It's the Big sense. House. It's your well, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Little fact there as well. Okay, which country is home to Africa? That looks to me like a soccer city. It does. That unique orange... Yes. Orange look. So, which country? South Africa. Correct. Which year did host the World Cup? The worst World Cup for uh, yeah, recent memory. 2010. There we go. Shabalala moment though. Great. That was class. So, some big moments, wasn't it? Mm. I mean, that's Cape Town there, isn't it? That was the Cape Town Stadium, Greenpoint, Tail Mountain in the background. Okay. Where are we then? Now, America again. Do you think so? Does look a bit American, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's have a little scroll. Oh, possibly not. More Australia, maybe? Could be. Could be. Has palm trees there. 
It's not Cardiff. It's not Cardiff. Okay. We're not in Kansas anymore. That's tight hard, isn't it, you know? I think it... Have a little zoom in on that <sighs> sign, see if that sign gives us anything. I am zooming. No. <laughs> okay, let's have another look at the stadium. It looks too big, unless it's a cricket stadium, to be Australian. Could be Australian, it? Could be, it could be cricket ground. If we commit to one of those two, <laughs> it's a long way from the other way, points wise. Quite nice to do that then. That, you, that was your initial thought, wasn't after America, so let's just go for it. What's got uh, big ground? Perth, Melbourne. It doesn't look like the MCG. Go, go Perth. Forget, please, we guess away. Perth. Go the other way, go the other side. Yeah. We guess Brisbane. Syria? Brisbane. Go oh, Brisbane. Oh, you don't have to guess country, do we? Oh, it's oh. just guess country. And it was right, it was Australia. Love you, Jubilee. Right, Melbourne Cricket, I think it was a Melbourne Cricket Ground. Um, it's home to, for nine teams from three sports. Sure. Ooh. Obviously cricket. Yes. Oh, rugby's obviously as well, because there's it's an old probably dancers. Aussie rules as well. I think it's probably that first one. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Funny, this is a football ground uh, questionnaire, and it wasn't their football stadium. Yeah. Um, okay. And there we go. That's the last bit. Right, so... Good quiz. Not bad. 44,687 like out of 50,000. Yeah. That's so, pretty good. Some good spot-ons there we did. Let's try and find another one then. Yeah. Okay, so we've done the World Football Stadiums. Now we're going on to the Football World Cup. I'm not sure how this one's is, going to work. Yeah, yeah. 20 questions, though. We got 44,000 out of 50,000 last one. This one is out of 100,000. Oh, double. Oh, that was a question. I don't know. Let's have a look then. Speed round. Okay, right, okay. time for kickoff. 20 seconds on the clock with five quick five questions on the World Cup. Are you ready? True. World Cup is played every four years. True. Oh, good stuff. Pace, yeah. No. He hasn't won the Golden Boot. Famously, not done all that well in no. World Cups, has he? What was the Golden Globe previously named? The Levy Ashen Award. Was it? Mm. Yeah. I thought that's a, an award at the... Um, Ballon d'Or. Right, who won the Golden Ball in 2002? Ronaldo. Ah, that's a bit easy. Oliver Carmi. The Golden Ball? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I think it's the Golden was... Boot. <laughs> I'm sorry, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which African country is the World Cup? South Africa. Lovely. Okay. Oh, these are just questions. Right, largest attendance in World Cup history. You'll be in a stadium in the next round. Can you pinpoint where it is? Okay. Ooh, okay, I recognise it. Yeah. It's American now, isn't it? It is. Right, here we go. Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Famously, the 1950 World Cup, it hosted the final, the Maracanazo, named after the Maracanã. I don't know where it is in Rio, though. Have a little zoom in. Bit more. Oh, there you go. Maracanã. An area. Surely it's in there, then, isn't it? <laughs> you would have think so, yeah. Let's keep going. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Can't see it, but it, oh my gosh, but the area is the American up. So we got, should we just put it in there? Pop it. Yep. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Nice flu, man. I just saw flu then. Okay, back, American up. Oh, oh. oh, thank you. 5,000 points. Lovely. Who's a top scorer in World Cup history? Miroslav. That's an unbelievable one, isn't it? When you look at when some you of the names the, yeah. he's compared with, I d he, you know, he, he's probably not. He's not. He's not probably the top. Definitely not in the top fifty of all no. time, is he? No, no, no. But an incredible record. Yeah. Okay. Which country was he born in? Oh, I have to find it. Good stuff. That is obviously due. Oh, Poland. He's born in Poland. Mm, you know. I was going to say, was he definitely? Yeah, he's born in Poland because that that was a big thing. I remember they played Poland. I think you mean Podolski, and they were both. Uh, Oh, lovely. Oh, this is a good test of our knowledge, this one. Select the country where the 2022 World Cup took place. Oh, it's a tiny one, isn't it? Tiny one. And map. it is Qatar. So oh, let's zoom right, right in. Gulf States. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Where was the first World Cup held? Uruguay. Yeah. 
what did Zinedine Zidane do in the World Cup final in 2006? He scored a lovely goal. He's got a penalty. A lovely penalty, wasn't it? But he also got a red card for a head, but... He did. Lovely, lovely penalty for that, though. All of the teams to most wins to least. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Drag and drop in the right order. How does that work, then? Oh, ah, right. Okay, so England have only won one. Yeah. They've won three now, Argentina, so that's obviously, that's, yeah. this is obviously a bit older. Netherlands have never won it. Netherlands have won it the most. Lovely. Italy, by there. Perfect. Look at that, another 5,000 points in the bag. Which team in history has the highest number of top four places? Oh, um, Germany? I think it's got to be Germany, isn't it? They are there or thereabouts. Regularly, it is well then. Right, which team has the most gold medals in the women's world cup? Yep, USA. All the players who have participated in the most to least amount of games, right? <sighs> okay, so it's that's a handful, isn't it? Well, I think it's five, yeah. Is that, right? is that it? I don't know. Xavi's played quite a few because he got to the final. Yeah. 15, okay, good. Harry Kane. Oh, Harry Kane has been around. Don't you be in two World Cups, wasn't he? So you won't be more than fifteen. So he's, they've gone far in both. So but he's below I Xavi. Think it's Thirteen. God, stick it. Well, the, and this is pre. If it's this quiz before, isn't it? It's pre World Cup. Oh, you know, it is. All right, it's this is pre. Me. Oh, before twenty twenty two. Guys, guys. Messi has the most now, and he would have had more than Xavi then. I would have so. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay. Mateus used no, to be the top, didn't he? 25. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, we Come are on. nailing this. Which colour is missing from the bottom of the Walker Trophy? Green. I wonder if there is green on it at the bottom. I think these two bands are green, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah? So I think it is green. Yeah. 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 Which team has never qualified for the World Cup? That's Luxembourg, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking of China being in there. Yeah, of course they have. Yeah. yeah. 2002. Yeah. How many countries have attempted qualifying? Oh, I think we're on full no. marks. This is okay. Right. Okay. Well, it's, it's 215, presumably. Or is it 300 in terms of countries that no longer exist? Surely 215, surely. I think it's 215. Because FIFA... not too much. Yes. Yeah. Is bigger than Which the UN, isn't it? continent it is has never hosted the men's World Cup? Oceania. Oh, it is, yeah. Who's the women's up? Which artist has not <laughs> done? We, nice. We've done a video ranking the uh, best football songs. Yeah. Uh, Justin Bieber, isn't it? Yeah, Pitbull has done two. Yeah, Shakira has done one. Right, what was our point score then? 99,922. Oh, we're up there. We're up Seventh there. highest of all time. We'll take that. That's good, that. Happy with that, yeah. Okay, so let's get on to our last quiz of the uh, video. UK football stadiums. This is a quite a common one. People like this one. So let's get stuck in. We've upgraded to pro. It goes right up to the ninth and tenth tier of football. This is all, isn't it? It's wow. Like right down to the ninth and tenth tier. This could be tricky. Yes. Okay, oh. here we are. <laughs> in a lane. Oh, gosh, roundabout. I mean, where's We've the got to find the stadium, which is obviously not going to be big. Is it in this field? Oh, any signs to help us? Oh, gosh. Where he was from. Oh, what's this? Scoop in on that roundabout. There's a sign Sol there. Salisbury. Selling Park. That's it. Could be Salisbury. Portland's Park. Right, let's go to Salisbury then. It has to be nearish there, does it then, if it's on there? Well, the sign's to Salisbury. So let's go somewhere near the next place along. Salisbury down here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, there it is. So let's let's go somewhere like... Winchester. It said Salisbury, and it said the M27. <laughs> so? So that's Southampton, I think, heading towards Southampton. So somewhere in between. Okay. It could even be Southampton. Let's go, let's go there. Yeah. Plunk it in there. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, what a start. Incredible. AFC Totten. There we go. There you go. Nice. Right, next one. How's the state? There's the stadium. It looks small. So let's go up to it. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's get zoom in. Oh, home supporters only. Low tier. Macron. A big factory in the back. This is a proper old looking stadium, isn't it? Yeah. Lower tier, definitely very low tier. <sighs> More than, do you think, or not? I think so, yeah. The brick looks not. Oh, maybe this big building will give us a bit of a clue. We've gone way off now, let's be honest. Wait, yeah, we're not guessing the football club. Tame Street. Tame Street. Doesn't mean anything. Have a guess, 20 seconds. Kettle Brook. Right, I reckon then. It is somewhere around Durham. Oh, I didn't that far. Oh, it was Birmingham way. Nowhere near. Okay, that was hard. Tam Tamworth. 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 Obviously. Yeah. Right, next one. It was called Tame Street. This looks like it's seen better days. Fire station. Let's have a look what fire station it is. Scottish Keith. Community fire station. Lovely. That's a good one. Where's Keith? That's gonna be hard to find, is it? Oh. How do you spell Keith? Like the name. There it is. Keith. Oh. Yes. We got it. Thank you, fire station. Boogie woogie. Nice. Right, next one. A lot of points in that one. Right, look at these signs, shall we? I don't know where the stadium is. Victoria Hospital, minor injuries. <laughs> oh, come on, give us some. Yeah. Dorset. Dorset Healthcare. Okay. Leslie Adams Building. So it's in Dorset, which is obviously a county. Down south. Not many. Oh, pool? Pool? It doesn't look like pool. Like, no, we pool's go, off of the sea, Yeah. So maybe Wareham or Weymouth. Ringwood? Go on then. Wareham. Ooh! Wimborne. Was, well, far from Poole, was it, in the end? Wimborne. Okay. Lovely model village, though. Is there? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Shout out. Right, okay, next one. Road Terrace Houses. It's a bit of a staple. There's the stadium. It looks big. There we go. It is... The trans oh, it's Norwich. It's Carroll Road. Lovely. All right, let's zoom right in on Norwich. There it is. Okay. Where is Carroll Road in Norwich? North Norfolk. Alan Partridge. <laughs> yeah. Jay Humphrey. Um. Oh, where is it though? Down Huckabee. <laughs> yeah, anyone else? Team of Pookie. Is there? <laughs> oh, not too bad. Four kilometres away. Yeah, it was completely on the side of the city. Right, there we go. Few results. How did we get on? Not great. 19,025. I'd have to take that. That's not bad, is it? Breakdown. Rookie Tourist. Right. Okay. Right, I think that is the end of our first foray into GeoGuessr. We'll like hopefully do some more of these. If you know any GeoGuessr quizzes, let us know, because we are now have GeoGuessr Pro, and we will give them a try. And if, uh, yeah, let us know how you guys got on as well when you were trying that alongside with us. And we will um, see you again for the next one very soon.